<laughs> it's midnight on a cold winter's eve outside the royal castle in Denmark. A tragic tale of murder, revenge, and madness is about to unfold. Three men standing watch encounter a dreaded sight, a ghost resembling King Hamlet. The ghost claims he was murdered at the hands of his own brother, Claudius, who has taken over the throne and taken up with his brother's widow, Gertrude. The young prince, Hamlet, mad with mourning, accuses his mother of marrying Claudius for the sex. To confirm the ghost's murderous claims, Hamlet stages a drama, the murder of his father, to trick his uncle into revealing his guilt. The ploy works. But while speaking with his mother, Hamlet mistakenly kills his uncle's trusted advisor, Polonius, who is hiding behind a curtain in the queen's bedroom. Polonius's daughter, Ophelia, distraught over her father's death, drowns herself. Claudius, fearing for his own life, sends Hamlet to England to be executed. As gravediggers prepare for Ophelia's burial, they uncover the skull of the court jester from Hamlet's childhood, causing the prince to contemplate the meaning of life and death. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well. Claudius finds out Hamlet is still alive, so he plots to kill Hamlet in a fencing match against Ophelia's brother Laertes. One poison-tipped sword. One chalice of poisoned wine. They have to be quick. Norway is about to invade Denmark. In the melee, Hamlet is pierced by the poisoned sword. Hamlet grabs the sword and wounds Laertes. A dying Laertes tells Hamlet of the plot against him, fueling Hamlet's final rage. Hamlet kills Claudius, thus avenging both his father and his mother. With Claudius dead and the Prince of Norway about to invade, Hamlet dies in his best friend Horatio's arms, leaving Horatio as the only witness to the bloody and vengeful destruction of the royal house of Denmark. To be or not to be, that is the question. <laughs>